tailspin. All of them are clustered. This is exactly what we see for the majority of high school pitchers across the country. Regardless of what they are calling their pitches, regardless of the pitch label, the pitches are doing the same. They're spinning in the same way. They are not moving. They're not breaking. And this is so important to see. And the pitchers don't know it. How would they if they didn't have ball flight data? In our experience, when we do assessments for pitchers, it's ball flight data is pretty steady. So it is not like if someone comes to us and we say, um, they're like, okay, it was my off day. And so they go to a camp, for example, and there's ball flight data. And they say something like, well, usually my rise is working. What they're usually referring to then is that like the command over that pitch, the locations of those pitches. We do not see fluctuations in the spin profile because this is linked to the arm slot they can get in, the trunk posture that they get into. These are th things that are a constant for them. And so someone's pitch profile regarding how the ball spins and ultimately how it breaks is something that, you know, day by day, week by week stays consistent unless you're actively trying to intervene. You're, you're implementing a training plan program to actively change that. So um, this is what we saw. And I think this was really eye-opening.